Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to get rid of and prevent those pesky warts. But before I do that, make sure you are subscribed if you like skincare content from a board certified dermatologist and hit that little bell icon too because that will let you know as soon as my videos go live. Give me a follow over on Instagram and TikTok because I'm very consistent with skincare content on those platforms as well. Warts are non-cancerous skin growths that happen when a virus infects your skin cells. The viruses that cause warts are known as human papillomaviruses. You're more likely to get a wart if you cut or damage the skin, maybe from biting, picking, shaving. If you have an underlying skin condition like eczema where you have an impaired skin barrier, it's more likely that wart viruses will get in leading to warts. And if you have an underlying medical condition that weakens your immune system, you're more likely to have very stubborn warts that last a very long time. Wart viruses are contagious. You can get a wart from touching a wart or from touching things that have come in contact with a wart, such as nail clippers. They typically feel rough, although they can be flat and smooth, usually skin colored, although they can be tan and gray, brown, black. Sometimes they have little black dots throughout them. Warts can appear on the fingers, around the fingernails, especially if you are a nail biter or you chew at hangnails. Plantar warts happen on the soles of the feet. They often occur in clusters. This is known as a mosaic wart. And because of pressure from walking, they grow inward into the skin and can be painful. Then there are flat warts, which often happen on the face, the legs, areas where you shave. They're typically very numerous, upwards of the hundreds, very flat and very small. Filiform warts look like a long thread or fingers. These are more common on the face, like around the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. It's important to understand that there's really no cure for that wart virus. And just because a wart goes away, it doesn't mean that you won't get another one in its place or another one nearby. Warts are spread through little cracks in the skin. It's not uncommon for a wart to shed more wart virus into a neighboring crack in your skin and for you to get another one down the road. In people who are otherwise healthy with no underlying medical problems and a strong healthy immune system, warts will typically go away by two years on their own with no treatment. There are a few things that you can do to make a wart go away faster. I'll get into that in a moment. But see a board certified dermatologist. If you have a skin growth that you're not quite sure, you're maybe thinking, is this a wart or is it something else? If you have a wart that is painful, burns or bleeds, definitely see a derm. Don't try and remove it yourself. Warts on the face or genitals, you should not try and remove yourself. Treatments that are available for you to try at home are not gonna be useful if you have hundreds of little flat warts. In that case, just see a dermatologist because the things that you can do at home to make them go away fast are unlikely to be beneficial. Definitely see a board certified dermatologist if you have an underlying medical condition which makes your immune system weak or if you have diabetes. Don't try and remove a wart from your feet if you have diabetes. If you do end up seeing a dermatologist, there are a variety of different treatments that we can try to help get rid of that wart faster. Cantheridin is a liquid that we can paint on that causes a blister and helps the wart fall off. We can use liquid nitrogen to freeze it, making a blister and an inflammatory response that will come in and hopefully get rid of that wart. We also can use electrosurgery and a little tool called a curette to burn and scrape the wart away. In some cases, warts can even be cut out. And for really, really stubborn warts, a laser may be pursued. For those of you who have a lot of tiny little flat warts, like on the face, a chemical peel may be beneficial. The anti-cancer medication bleomycin can be injected into certain types of warts to make them go away faster. There are immunotherapies like DCP and interferon that can stimulate your body's immune system to come in and get rid of that wart virus. But as I said, in otherwise healthy people with no underlying problems with their immune system, most warts will clear up on their own with no treatment. But if you are at home, what can you do to help get a wart to go away faster? Salicylic acid. And I'm not talking about salicylic acid, like what you use for acne. They sell specific salicylic acid treatments for warts like on the feet, or the hands, the body, that have a much higher percentage of salicylic acid. Salicylic acid in these preparations helps to smooth out the wart and create irritation, helping the wart virus go away faster. The salicylic acid in these products is meant for warts. It's not meant to treat other things like acne or pimples. So use it just to treat warts. They come in a variety of forms, plasters, liquids that you paint on. How do you go about using these? The best way to use these, first of all, is to soak the wart and warm water and then take a disposable nail file, an emery board, file the wart down as flat as you can, then apply salicylic acid 
and cover it with a bandage. If you're using a salicylic acid preparation that is in a bandage, then obviously you don't need to do that. And do this at nighttime, and then the following morning when you wake up, remove the bandage, wash your hands. You need to do this every single day. It's not gonna get rid of it overnight. You have to keep doing this. If you keep doing this on a daily basis, it will help the wart go away faster. But again, it doesn't prevent you from getting new warts in the neighboring skin. As you guys know from my videos, salicylic acid can be pretty irritating. So if you develop raw skin or bleeding, then certainly take a break from the salicylic acid wart treatments. The other option, which may sound odd, is duct tape, the silver duct tape. Now there are some studies looking into this because it's something that people would often come to the dermatologist saying that they were told to do. It's kind of an old wives tale, but there are actually some studies that look further into this. They're kind of mixed as to whether or not it is the best approach for people to be doing, but some evidence does suggest that it works. Basically by putting duct tape, which if you're not familiar is a very high adhesive tape, uh, by putting duct tape on the skin and pulling it off, it pulls away some of those skin cells that contain the wart virus and it expedites the rate of clearance, probably creates some irritation that stimulates your immune system to come in and clear up the virus. So how do you go about using duct tape to treat a wart? Again, just like with salicylic acid, make sure you soak the wart first in warm water. This will help soften it and then take an emery board, file the wart down, and apply the duct tape. Leave the duct tape on there for a few days and then rip it off and repeat the same process. The purpose of soaking the wart is that it softens those skin cells and by filing them away with the emery board, you flatten it out and it'll allow for that salicylic acid in the case of the sal acid treatments to penetrate a little better or in the case of the duct tape, there's just less that it's gotta pull off so it kinda gets at the root of it, so to speak, a lot faster. Those are the treatments that are available for you to tackle warts on your own at home. But importantly, what can you do to prevent warts in the future? If you've got a wart, you also wanna do some things to prevent getting more because that wart virus can spread to the nearby skin. A lot of the things that you're gonna to pursue to tackle your wart are gonna increase the risk of spreading that wart virus to the neighboring skin so that a few months later you get another wart. So you don't want that to happen. Don't pick or scratch the wart. When you pick and scratch, causes trauma and you can introduce more wart virus into the neighboring skin or warts around the nails, which actually are very stubborn and very tricky to treat and get rid of. One thing about these wart viruses is they love humidity and they thrive in a humid environment. So if you go to the pool or if you go and take a shower in a communal setting, make sure you wear flip-flops on your feet because that is definitely a situation where you're likely to get a wart on the bottoms of your feet, especially in public pools. Just think about it. If you're at a public pool, there's a good chance that you're gonna be exposed to one of these wart viruses. Now, if you're walking around barefoot, Public pools typically have concrete surfaces, um, rough surfaces that can create little tiny micro tears. That wart virus has an easy entry point into the skin. So protect your feet by wearing flip-flops, not going barefoot. Speaking of loving humid environments, if you have really sweaty feet, see a board certified dermatologist for treatment for what's called hyperhidrosis or excess sweating. Hyperhidrosis is a risk factor for warts because they love that humid environment. It enhances penetration of the wart virus and it increases the chances that the wart virus will spread to the neighboring skin. If you do have sweaty feet, make sure you change into dry socks pretty regularly. You don't hang out in sweaty footwear. Anytime you touch or treat your wart, make sure you wash your hands afterwards to reduce the chances that you end up spreading that wart virus later on to other areas of the skin. If you have a wart, don't shave over it. So if you've got a wart on the face, make sure you're not dragging the razor across that wart because it's going to introduce more wart virus to the neighboring skin. Same thing with on the lower legs. If you have those little flat warts, you gotta take a break from shaving because you're just gonna reintroduce more wart virus into the neighboring skin. This is yet another 
another reason to stay away from those at-home microneedling devices. I've got videos explaining why. You know, they put you at risk for infection, bleeding, and scarring. But you can certainly get an eruption of a little wart virus uh, from these devices as you're microneedling over. You can introduce wart into the neighboring skin. Take measures to prevent dry, cracked skin. For the body and the face, it's gonna just basically be consistent moisturizing. If you do have a wart, one tip is to take a Q-tip, a cotton-tipped applicator, get a little petrolatum, aka Vaseline, and draw a little circle of Vaseline around the wart to protect the skin around it. Using a moisturizer will just make the skin less vulnerable to reintroduction of the wart. And if you've got dry, cracked, hands and feet, definitely check out my video on cracked heels. I give tips and tricks, strategies, product recommendations for how to tackle those dry cracked heels. But yeah, if you're dealing with warts, make sure you are addressing any skin dryness. Wart viruses are contagious, so don't share washcloths, towels, nail clippers, or razors with other people because you can end up spreading that wart virus. Don't bite your nails. <laughs> Biting your nails or chewing at like a hangnail, you, you're basically creating a little moist environment there from the saliva and you're chewing and biting. Wart viruses love that, and so don't do that. If you're somebody who absentmindedly bites your nails, they do sell these lacquers that taste bad to deter you from doing that. For children, there's the HPV vaccine. It's intended to uh, protect against genital warts. HPV viruses cause genital warts as well, and there are different strains of HPV viruses, but there is some idea that they may offer some cross protection for warts as well. So that is yet another thing to do in terms of prevention. All right, you guys, that's everything about warts, how to prevent them, how to get rid of them, uh, when you absolutely should lean into seeing a dermatologist rather than trying to manage at home, what kinds of treatments dermatologists offer. And if you do see a dermatologist, be aware of the fact that the treatments that we offer, you often need multiple sessions. So it's never gonna be a one and done thing with a wart. They are stubborn, even if you're perfectly healthy and have a strong immune system, they take some time to get rid of. Getting rid of a wart, many times another one will pop up right next to it. So hopefully the prevention tips I gave you reduces the chances that that happens to you. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye